Shall I tell you of my droll foot race with Mr. T? Please do. It has become quite celebrated in these parts. I believe it's even been written up by Zeno. It sounds very exciting. It was. You see, Mr. T began way ahead of me. He had such a huge head start, and yet... You caught up, didn't you? Yes, being so fleet of foot, I diminished the distance between us at a constant rate and soon overtook him. The gap kept getting shorter and shorter, so you could. Exactly. Oh, look, Mr. T has brought his violin. May I try playing on it, Mr. T? Please don't. It sounds very flat. Oh, all right. But I'm in a mood for music. I don't know why. You can play the piano, Achilles. Thank you. I'll try it in a moment. I just wanted to add that I also had another kind of race with Mr. T at a later date. Unfortunately, in that race... You didn't catch up, did you? The gap kept getting longer and longer, so you couldn't. That's true. I believe that race has been written up too by Lewis Carroll. Now, Mr. Sloth, I'll take up your offer of trying out the piano. But I'm so bad at the piano, I'm not sure I dare. You should try.
Oh, it sounds very strange. That's not how it's supposed to sound at all. Something is very wrong. You can't play the piano, Achilles. You shouldn't try. It's like a piano in a mirror. The high notes are on the left and the low notes are on the right. Every melody comes out inverted as if upside down. Who would ever have thought up something so cockeyed as that? That's characteristic of sloth. They hang from, yes, I know, from tree branches. Upside down, of course. That sloth piano would be appropriate for playing inverted melodies such as occur in some canons and fugues. But to learn to play a piano while hanging from a tree must be very difficult. You must have to devote a great deal of energy to it. That's not so characteristic of sloths. No, I gather sloths like to take life very easy. They do everything about half as fast as normal, and upside down to boot. What a peculiar way to go through life. Speaking of things that are both upside and slowed down, there's a canon per augmentationem contrarium motu in the musical offering. In my edition, the letters S-A-T are in front of the three staves. I don't know why. Anyway, I think Bach carried it off very skillfully. What's your opinion, Mr. T? He outdid himself. As for those letters, F-A-T, you could guess what they stand for. Soprano, alto and tenor, I suppose. Three-part pieces are often written for that combination of voices. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Sloth? They stand for... Oh, just a moment, Mr. Sloth. Mr. Tortoise, why are you putting on your coat? You're not leaving, are you? We were just going to fix a snack to eat. You look very tired. How do you feel? Out of gas. So long. And the tortoise trudges wearily out the door. The poor fellow, he certainly looked exhausted. He was jogging all morning. He's in training for another race with me. He did himself in. Yes, but in vain. Maybe he could beat a sloth, but me? Never. Now, weren't you about to tell me what those letters S-A-T stand for? As for those letters S-A-T, you could never guess what they stand for. Well, if they don't stand for what I thought, then my curiosity is piqued. Perhaps I'll think a little more about it. Say... How do you cook French fries? In oil. Oh yes, I remember. I'll cut up this potato into strips an inch or two in length. So short? All right already, I'll cut four inch strips. Oh boy, are these going to be good French fries. Too bad Mr T won't be here to share them.